Hey, this is Danny with Speed Trap Shoot. All right, just want to go over kind of the overview of the product um, and how it operates, what it does for you as a contractor, and um, kind of the aspects that I built around um, when I created it. So the product originally was not designed for the market. Um, I built it for myself and a close friend of mine who we were looking for just a simple, reliable tool that worked day in, day out, and survived in the field and didn't have a lot to go wrong because we had uh, used other um, shoots before and ran into trouble with parts being either breaking in the field or discontinued or uh, super complex designs. So we just wanted something that was simple and easy and worked. So when I went to bat at bringing this thing to market finally, everything was based off of simplicity, reliability, efficiency, and also affordability. It was important for me to hit all four of those um, with the average price in the industry of a shoot ranging around $320 to $330. Um, it's a lot of money up front for the contractor to come up with to be able to elevate his own uh, business branding and take better care of his customers and uh, people in the field. So all, with all those things in mind, um, what you basically have is 3 16 uh, 7 gauge steel, uh, overbuilt and strong. Um, it's a very simple design and basically all you do to uh, actuate it is simply drop, pull the cable and drop the, the plate down and you have full, uh, full control of your discharge and then a lot of times if you're cutting a, let's say you're cutting a perimeter pass on a driveway and you're making one or two passes and then you're going back the other way to lay down your stripe, um, what all you can do, all you have to do is really just hold this open wherever you want it and you can drop those clippings right in front of the discharge or you can lay them down on one stripe over or two stripes over. You know, typical X mark discharge is about two and a quarter lengths of the mower. So what I wanted was be able to um, increase my own efficiency in the field and that's what you have. So if you want to lay it, wherever you want to lay it is where you actuate this cable and put um, the plate and the clippings follow. So if you want a complete shutdown, simply drop it. Um, if you want it to be, um, you know, a foot or two away, it's, it's all up to you, the operator. And the nice thing about it, it doesn't add any extra width to your mower um, when it's in its normal position is sits up and out of the way. So opposed to the factory guard that's, I don't know, like 10 or 12 or 14 inches wide, whatever it is, um, you, you have that extra width, which when you're getting in between trees and everything, we all know what we, we range in the field, what we face. Um, you don't have that aspect um, in the, with this product so all those things in mind um, it's a simple reliable and affordable efficient system um, it can be simply it can be scraped from the seat to keep to, to scrape the, the grass off of the plate as you spend your time and you're mowing in the morning the wet grass obviously builds up um, it's real easy just I keep a um, uh, keep a scraper on the mowers you just grab it scrape it off and go about your business and then if you want to do when you do your maintenance um, simply just wash it with a little simple green and soap and water and uh, all that grass will clean right off of there it's um, it's powder coated and it's sandblasted prior to the powder so the powder adheres well and um, we did lots of different tests with that um, from just standard powder and then we also sandblast and we found the powder holds up better in the field doesn't flake off uh, if you remove that process. So a lot of thought went into um, the product and with the, everything was based around with the operator in mind. So, but yeah, it's, uh, it's real simple and uh, there's not a lot of moving parts. There's not a lot of springs. There's no springs, there's no motors. There's no, um, you know, foot pedals to go or cables to loosen. Um, you're, you've got a plastic coated steel braided cable um, and it's swaged. So it's, it's easy on the hands, and then uh, you just drop it down and pop it back up when you're done. So, um, yeah, anyway, thanks for uh, tuning in, and hopefully that will help you make your decision um, if you're looking at the product, wondering if it can help you. Thanks again.